Hey guys, I'm Alex from thetechnoclass.com and today we're unboxing a flaming horse. Alright, it's not a flaming horse. It is the Aino, uh Novo 7 Paladin tablet, which is the first uh, tablet running Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. So, you know, ice cream sandwich is the newest version of the Google Android OS and this is the first tablet that has it. So why don't we go ahead and uh, get it out of its box. So as you can see there's a Spider-Man here. Um, so you just pop this side open and get the flaps out and you pull this tab here. Uh, there you go. So it's a nice uh, Novo 7 Paladin logo and you open this up. It should reveal the tablet right there. So let's get that. And we got the Paladin in white. Really nice um, box, a really nice case here. And a very simple, very uh, minimalistic, but very nice looking. So let's turn this on. Ah, there you go. And um, check out the other stuff in here. All right, inside the box. We have a, uh, this is the a leather uh, carrying case, um, which we're not sure if it comes with the, uh, with the package or it could be a freebie from Widget City, which we got, uh, this is, um, this unit is from Widget City. Uh, so we'll see what, uh, what uh, parts we have here. So we have a manual. And it looks to be in Chinese, and though that's a really nice um, color manual. So I don't see any English manual here. Um, this one is a looks to be a warranty card. Uh huh. And what else we have we got here? So this looks like the earbuds. So typ typically I don't open earbuds, but um, I'm curious to see. Oops. I'm curious to see if this has a microphone in it, um, as it could just be earbuds. So, what else? Alright, so this is a USB cable for charging and data transfer. And, um, as you might notice, there is no, um, there is no charger plug so it charges off USB but there is no other way to um, there is no way to charge it off a socket unless you get a USB adapter which thankfully everybody usually has right now these days all right so this is the tablet itself and I find the design really nice especially the white one so there this also comes in black I believe and um, let's check out the parts here so <clears throat> it's hard to see the details because our video, it's uh, it's completely white, but this is the seven inch 800 by 480 capacitive touchscreen. That means you can still pinch to zoom and all that. And you can see there's a nice Ino logo over on the left, lower left, and a Novo 7 Paladin logo over there. So um, on top, there's not a lot except there's uh, three buttons here. This is the power and unlock, back and menu key. Those are nice. They feel pretty good. Um, as you can see there and uh, on the left side there's uh, mostly these are mostly the ports of the tablet um, you get a volume rocker notice that these keys are in nice uh, tablet white uh, there's a reset button over there this is a unusual um, this is unusual because this is a mini USB not a micro USB so if you have a um, a car charger or your regular uh, chargers for your cell phones, for your smartphones, those are usually micro USB, which are super, much much thinner than this. This is a mi mini USB, which uh, comes with the um, the USB cable comes as a mini USB cable. So that that one you'll need, or if you have a mini USB cable, especially uh, like from hard drive, portable hard drives and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. Uh, this is the pinhole microphone. A micro SD card slot and a headphone uh, jack. I'm not sure if it's a headset jack, so we'll we'll need to find out. On the bottom, there's not nothing. There's just a warranty sticker there. It says eight gigabytes. 
So this one is eight gigab is the eight gigabyte version, and there's also a warranty uh, sticker there. And that's pretty much it for um, buttons and ports and stuff like that. As you can see on the back, there's a speaker grill here and some nice tasty logos and some uh, information about the device. Um, as you notice, this you can't open it up to reveal the battery. The battery is 4,000 milliamp hours, which is typical for a, well, it's a little bit larger for a nice tablet battery. All right, so you'll notice that the... Uh, the uh, the un the unique um, design, the unique minimalistic design, does not have a camera or anything, um, even at the front. So you you won't find any front facing cameras. You won't find any um, uh, proximity sensors because it's not a phone, and you won't find any um, ambient light sensors. It's basically just a screen and um, backing. So it it looks nice, although if you're looking for a camera or um, some of those uh, 3G and stuff like that amenities. Bluetooth, it doesn't have Bluetooth. So those are um, its limits. But let's take a look at the interface here. So this is running on Android 4.0 um, ice cream sandwich and we can prove that by going to the settings. So I'll give you a look at the menus here and uh, there's the settings. Scroll down and about tablet as you can see, the model number is Novo 7 Paladin and Android version 4.0.1. So this is the first Android tablet running um, running Android 4.0, and it looks uh, it works pretty well. Um, this is the screen right here. Let's turn the uh, brightness up, as you can see. And um, so this this came with a bunch of uh, apps already, but some of these we installed. It came with uh, Spider-Man and a couple of uh, uh, HD apps, so which we've not tried yet. So this is Android uh, 4.0. It looks uh, similar to uh, um, Honeycomb because uh, Ice Cream Sandwich is based on a mix of gingerbread and honeycomb. So uh, the interface is a side-scrolling five screens. Uh, it's a little has a little bit of a 3D effect, and you press this upper right button here to get to the apps. Now the apps are a side-scrolling uh, paginated thing and if you go beyond the re the pages of apps you get into the widgets um, and then you press and hold one of these to get them onto the screen. Now as you can see here the web browser is a pretty uh, good uh, sweet web browser where you can view a lot of uh, desktop uh, websites really well and it also supports, of course, uh, moving, uh, reading in portrait mode and any other angle that you wish. Um, so it, um, of course, supports uh, pinch to zoom. There you go. And it's a pretty serviceable and pretty good browser, if you ask us. Um, it's um, thanks to the fact that Honeycomb and Ice Cream Sandwich is just really well made. So. Um, so the Inol uh, Novo 7 Paladin also supports um, uh, pinch to zoom, as you can see here. And it's got a bunch of uh, pre-installed, well, a couple of um, uh, stuff that you can view here, like the Spider-Man wallpaper or something like that. So um, as you can see, there's the the tab, uh, the uh, taskbar on the bottom has disappeared, but uh, you can just swipe up to make it appear right there. So this is a feature. Um, that is new to ice cream sandwich, I believe, or honeycomb, and it makes the uh, makes applications work even without the uh, bottom bar there. And of course, you can just you can use this uh, in portrait mode and read your books like that as well. Um, so let's uh, let's check out a little bit of the gaming capabilities of this uh, tablet. So let's start with Angry Birds, I guess the um, the de facto uh, gaming test <laughs> for tablets and smartphones these days um, so there you go it's loading and um, you, can, you can hear the speaker from underneath there and um, let's try number three so you can pinch right and uh, let's see yeah I totally missed it all right so that's uh, that's Angry Birds and uh, you can you can sort of press the uh, the back buttons from here to get out. Uh, Alright, let's try out Spider-Man here. 
So this is a game loft game that is free on on the tablet it seems and uh, it came with I mean the box has the logos and all that. So let's try and see um, how this plays, how Spider-Man plays on this. Um, this has a 1 gigahertz um, X-Burst processor and a GPU. Uh, the the brands of the um, the brands of the uh, GPU and CPU are relatively not not very well known, but um, um, they seem to perform decently um, on the 800 480 screen. As you can see here, this is Spider-Man. I don't know how to play this. Oh, there we go. So yeah, we're playing Spider-Man. So there you go. So look at this. Uh, so here we're playing uh, Doodle Jump, which is a G sensor uh, based uh, game where let me just not die here. Um, where you tilt the the tablet or smartphone where you want your guy to go. So it's it, uh, as you can see, I can make uh, his, him go left and right by tilting the tablet. So that means the uh, G sensor is uh, completely supported on the i Note Seven Paladin. Uh, which is a great thing for uh, video gaming. And uh, we'll check out one, one more uh, video game here uh, in a bit. So this is Turbo Fly 3D which came with the tablet and um, this is a accelerometer based uh, game where you tilt the screen to where you want to go. And uh, it's also going to show you the 3D capabilities of the, uh, the uh, tablet here which is uh, pretty nice. Uh, it's not super detailed but I'm sure if you can get something like Need for Speed or something like that it would be much better so as you can see it's uh, running pretty well and um, it's uh, it's it's detecting a lot of the uh, a lot of my tilts uh, so you can play um, pretty well on this tablet and the 7 inch um, 7 inches is pretty good for um, for playing handheld um, for seeing a lot of your the detail in the game and yeah, that's about it. That's a uh, let's look at the TurboFly 3D and some of the gaming capabilities of the uh, Inol Novo 7 Paladin tablet. Let's get back. So here is the tablet in its leather-ish case. Um, you'll you'll want to note that the case has a hole for a camera, but this model does not have a camera. Some of the versions of the Inol tablets, uh, seven-inch ice cream sandwich tablets, do have cameras. So that's uh, that's a universal thing. Uh, there's a nice uh, little feature here that we think is a stand. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, it looks it works pretty well as a stand. So you just open this up here, and you can see the tablet. Oops, I forgot to uh, put it in sleep. So the buttons are on the top left here, and some of the ports are on the left. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the. Um, the Inol uh, tablet, and it um, it's pretty promising tablet for uh, for the very very low price of five thousand eight hundred pesos, and um, it's a nice minimalistic design. It's very solid. Um, it doesn't have any cameras or three G, but if you just want the tablet, you want to browse um, your pictures, you browse your um, websites and stuff like that. And put your pictures in a micro SD card. Um, listen to music. Uh, it's pretty good. The battery is 4,000 milliamp hours, which should give you um, decent amount of uh, battery life. I'm messing up the focus really bad. Um, the the screen is 800 480, which is not super high resolution, but it does the job. It's also not the best at uh, viewing angles, but it still does the job. It's it's not terrible. Um, this one has 512 megabytes of uh, RAM and 8 gigs of flash storage, which is quite a lot, uh, as you can see here. Um, you can also upgrade this with your aforementioned micro SD card. Let's list out some specs here. Uh, 7 inch, 840 screen, 1 gigahertz processor with a GPU, uh, no cameras, no 3G, um, micro SD slot, mini USB port. And yeah, that's about it. Five thousand eight hundred bucks. Pretty promising uh, tablet uh, for your money. 
And uh, if we if we understand this correctly, uh, if you buy it from Widget City, all you have to do is take a screenshot of any of our uh, articles or any of our updates with the Ino 7 tablet, Novo 7 tablet, and you might get um, freebies. Uh, I think this is the freebie, the leather case, and maybe a, my uh, uh, SD card or something like that. I'm not sure. Just uh, for your sake, just if you're gonna buy this from Widget City, screenshot our article or update and um, use it. I mean, that's not so hard, is it? All right. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex from Technoclass.com, and this is the Ino Novo 7 Paladin uh, ice cream sandwich uh, tablet. Thanks for watching.